Um, I'm back with part two of my Thanksgiving give thanks little decor thing that I'm making with the free Cricut cartridge on um, Cricut Craft Room. What they do is they offer a cartridge each week, sometimes more than one cartridge, um, for you to test out and try out. And so anyway, it's it's on there right now. Today is Sunday, November, or October 29th. And, or 28th, is it? I never know what day it is. It's the 28th. Anyway, what I did was I was looking for a background stamp to make this frame for my decorative item to be um, embellished, I guess you should say. And I was thinking I wanted something scrolly. But what I chose, and you probably can't, you know, it's a very subtle thing, but I was thinking of the pilgrim. See, this is how my process works. I, everything for me most times has to be meaningful. That's just the way my brain works. And so um, Scrap and Belly, she sent me a rack a while ago of amazing stamps. I mean, so many stamps. It was like the craziest thing ever. If you've been with me for a while, you probably saw that. So anyway, look at this beautiful, I absolutely love this background stamp. Um, Brookside Boulders is the name of it. Stampscapes. Um, so I don't know. This is probably, I have no idea what Scramps Stampscapes is, but it's, this is a great background stamp. Now, I want to apologize for her, to her that I haven't used her stamps on any projects because of, like I said, my brain works in this way. I, I looked at the stamps and I thought of them as spring and summer. This to me said summer because it looks like, you know, it's like a water thing. And so I was going to, I already had some ideas of how I would use this, but it wasn't really related to fall or winter or, um, you know, anything like that. So, but, however, I was thinking, well, you know, if you think of the east coast, the up, the northeast coast, you know, there's rocks and things like that. We have rocks on our shores too, but um, I thought this would be perfect, you know, like the pilgrims had to get off the Mayflower and, you know, walk on rocks and stuff like that. So that's how crazy my brain is. That is exactly what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Crazy, crazy thinking. But anyway, that's, it is what it is. <clears throat> so what I did was I got the tea dye because it didn't really show up very well with the Versamark. So I got the tea dye distress ink and um, I'm just inking it up really well. And I'm just going to run my finger along there. Okay, and so there it is. Isn't that pretty? I like that. It's just perfect. It's the rustic kind of a look. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go here. Let's put my finger where already. <clears throat> and there it is again. And then all we have left is this little corner right here. And I know I have ink up here, so I'm just going to... Okay, so now our frame is embellished. And then <clears throat> to finish it off, I'm using um, the foam applicator, or the foam. This is just a block, an old block from when I took some stamp stamps off of the wood mount onto cling mount. So I saved the blocks and I put Velcro on them <clears throat> to at attach the foam. And this way I have multiple applicators. And I'm reusing my blocks. Okay. And then maybe we'll do the edges of our pumpkin. Give it depth. Okay. 
All right, so that's done. So now let's pull our other pieces here. I've got to attach this to this. So we'll get our ATG done. And how should I do this? I think I'm going to put the adhesive on this one. Uh oh, I'm out. Okay. I think my adhesive is somewhere close by. So this is just ad tech backup. Oh no. <laughs> My backup is out, so I need a backup for the backup. Elmer's. I think this one's almost out too. This one's good too. give is shorter than the thanks. Okay, now we want this to be nice and straight. So all I'm going to do, just so if you're, you know, wondering how to do this, I'll show you a trick that I learned from somebody else on YouTube a long time ago. I can't remember who it was. I'm looking for the end of this thing. This is a roll of drywall tape. Yeah, I don't do drywall work. I got this by accident from somebody. Somebody donated it to at a crop, and I was there, and nobody knew what it was for, but I knew I had seen it on YouTube somewhere, but I couldn't even remember, well, what would I do with that, you know? But I knew there was something, it was something good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I have a long enough piece I could do the other. I don't know how much this stuff goes for. I think some of you out there would know, because maybe you have husbands that buy this stuff. As I understand it, it's pretty inexpensive and it's very handy when you're doing your titles on your pages and things like this where you want to keep it straight. And I'm just going to use my Tombow Multi Liquid Glue and just do this as quick as you can because this glue when it dries becomes repositionable. So you don't want to be too, as I call it, persnickety here. And so now we can lay it down, glue it down, and then just slowly remove it. If you do it too fast, the letters will come up Okay, and then the thanks to be like this, maybe. Hmm. 
Okay, so now it's lined up. I'm going to move this one a little bit closer. My hands are a little shaky today. And do the same thing. We'll just uh, put our glue on here as fast as we can. And yeah, so this is a great way to keep letters straight. And there's other things you can do. I mean, you can use it on your layouts to, um, you know, for sports and things, I think is great. You know, for net netting, for soccer um, layouts, which I'm, I really need to start working on. I got a clog here, and I keep little pins close by. These don't usually, this one doesn't usually clog on me, but I haven't used it in a while. So that might be why, but see, this is already turning clear on me. So I need to go back and that because it won't stick and at school you know on the weekends we don't have any air conditioning going so it might fall off on the weekend and that would be a pain to have to fix it after it, you know, after I'm done putting it up and everything. So see, now I can kind of get an idea how I want to place it. Stick it down. And our project is almost completed. See, I did that a little too fast, so that A came up. Just push it down as you pull it off. You know, and then, you know, if I wanted to, I could take it and just add little details of, you know, like a little bit here and there. And just kind of add little. You could do the whole thing and give it a cool um, background. I didn't plan that. I just, I didn't just think of the idea. I just decided to show you. <laughs> so we can just kind of don't do it too precise. We want it to look kind of haphazard. Distressy. I don't want to go onto the green though. There we go. Okay, we still need to attach the pumpkin. Right there. So I need my. And I'm not going to pop it because I may laminate this. Because I might, might hang this on my door. For Thanksgiving Day because I do host Thanksgiving at my house. So that's it. That's the full project. Hope you enjoyed that. Go check out Cricut Craft Room. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.